Trump's latest gamble is outlandish, but it just might work. The Daily Beast Reuters former President Donald Trump's legal team went big in their latest effort to derail the pros. Ecution against him for conspiring to interfere in the 2020 election. They filed a motion to dismiss that could be called a motion to make U.S. Presidents into kings. The 52-page legal motion filed in the D.C. Case asks U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin to dismiss the indictment based on the concept of presidential immunity. Why, that Trump argues makes him immune from any criminal prosecution for act. Below are your comments. So, what his attorneys are saying is that Biden could do whatever he wants to remain president. Good luck with that. Trump's attorneys might be defending him, they obviously don't represent him. The motion basically admitted guilt, and cited Trump's specific actions in the case. Very bad lawyering. If Trump is somehow able to make the immunity argument stick in this case, it won't apply to the doc. You meant's case. In that case, all his illegal actions happened after he left the presidency. Time to talk again about the 14th Amendment again regarding Trump not being qualified for any govern. Meant position. People can't be interfering with an election when the candidate isn't qualified for the position and people are just pointing that out. You can't cite constitutional immunity while trying to overthrow the Constitution as a duty. Lower courts decided this he is not immune from prosecution. Even Mitch told us. Double jeopardy is being charged twice for the same crime. That's not what happened here. Trump was impeached for the insurrection on January 6. Election interference is a whole different case. Therefore double jeopardy does not exist. Next news. For Gates, Washington drama could fuel Florida ambitions. The New York Times. Miami. Rep. Matt Gates's successful push to oust Speaker Kevin McCarthy has ratcheted up speculation that the foe. Earth-term Republican congressman already has his eye on his next target, still three years away. The Florida governor's mansion. Gates, a close ally of former President Donald Trump, has swatted away rumors that he is planning to run statewide in 2026. But that hasn't stopped Florida's political class from chattering. He'd be the front-runner in any Republican primary he wants. Below are your comments. Gates is done. He unfriended the Repubs save his sidekicks. He will be lucky if the Repubs do not come for his head. Florida, where freedom goes to die and fascism thrives. I just hope they keep fighting among themselves. That will give liberals a fighting chance to win. Floridians have bad buyer's remorse over DeSantis already. Gates hasn't a prayer. Kim took a picture of Richard. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.